<laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to Dwarven and Kegger. I'm Rob. I'm Tanner. And today we're going to be looking at the Tallgrass Brewing Company's Vanilla Bean Buffalo Sweat. Woo! It's an oatmeal cream stout brewed with vanilla beans. Now this particular one in the World Beer Cup in 2016 actually won the Bronze Award. It's a really big is deal. A pretty big deal. It That's a really a pretty big decent, deal. You know, beer. Five so. percent. Right, let's see what's going on here. Oh wow, look how dark that is. I like it dark. <laughs> like my soul. Look at that. That's wow. Weird. Wow. That head is imp I could I could rest a wafer on top of that. Sorry, I can't float think of float a biscuit on top of Float that. a biscuit. That is, first of all, for being a oatmeal cream stout. Brewed with vanilla beans. That is that is midnight black. Let's give it a let's give it a sniff. See what we got going here. Oh geez. Soft, sweet. Um, coffee. I get some coffee. There's definitely coffee in there. Let's taste it. See if I get some of that vanilla bean. Interesting. What's interesting about that? is i mean look you look at this can it's vanilla bean buffalo sweat oatmeal cream stout brewed with vanilla beans very very vanilla beans but I when you actually get much vanilla beans. when you actually get into it vanilla it's actually just an aftertaste yeah it's a it's a i mean it's not even a predominant aftertaste i get more coffee aftertaste than i do vanilla bean but it is there it is there it's a it's a very subtle Slight it's, smoothness. I mean, it's it's a good oatmeal stout, but Man. would I say it's my favorite I've had? No, not even close. I and I and I get from the can and I get from the way they're pushing this beer across that they really they really are pushing this vanilla bean thing, and I'm not really getting that a lot. I get a good oatmeal stout, like it's a decent oatmeal stout, like I can drink. I could drink this just to kind of drink an oatmeal stout, but I mean, I had I had some high expectations for this, and I wanted unfortunately, to, man, <laughs> I'm not hitting uh, that uh, expectation as hard just, as I uh, want. Let I mean, you guys a little in on this. Uh, we were looking forward to this one, and it's not that it's bad, but um, man, oh, okay. And you know what though? And I'm kind of disappointed. Oatmeal cream. If you're gonna say cream. I want some over-the-top smoothness that you're not going to find in your everyday oatmeal stout. We don't, I mean, we don't get that. There's nothing. I'm not. I'm not there's nothing that. there that really screams like creamy stout, like a, a cream stout. I mean, it's not to say it's not easy drinking. I mean, it is. You could sit down and drink that. It's kind of a heavier beer. Um, you could sit down and drink that. It's just kind of um, uh, mediocre. I think arrogant bastard is probably better drinking than that. I would say so. There's more complexity it's there. It's just, it's, uh, I mean, no, don't get me wrong. It's, it's all right. It's all right. I would buy a sixer of it easily, but it's not my first choice. I, I don't mean, know if I would. And the reason I say that is not to be pretentious, but I just think there's so many better oatmeal stouts out there. I think left hand, left, <laughs> I think left hand has some better stuff out there. Um, Check out our review on uh, New Holland's The Poet. I think that's better. I think it's really good. I uh, I don't remember. Did I did I rate that one a little higher than? Yeah, I did. It's pretty high. He uh, I think I think he gave it a three and a half. I gave it a four and a half. Um, Check out the video. I don't remember, but I remember it being decent. But this falls a little below. It's it's just mediocre. There's a lot of lead up to mediocrity, <clears throat> and I have a good example. Okay. Donkey Kong Country 3, Super Nintendo. 3, 3, 3, three, three. three. Mediocre. Second one, fantastic game, okay? First one, epic game. Keep talking, I got it. Okay, alright. <laughs> epic game. It's mediocre. You get what you're told you're going to get. Like, you get a little vanilla. You get a little smoothness from the cream. You get a little smoothness from the oatmeal stout. It's a heavy beer. You get everything you were promised, but you're still left wanting more. 
The boss battles just weren't as good. It's just not as good. It didn't have that same vibe, that same strongness as... And, I mean, I feel like I feel like it's a lot of lead-up. I mean, look at this can. This is a it's, cool can. The can right? is awesome. The can is awesome. This is why it's, we bought it, okay? It's, it it's grabbed the it eyes. Says, it says vanilla bean buffalo sweat inside of a buffalo's head. 5%. 5% alcohol by volume. It's... I mean, I understand the five percent because it, there's no way that they've put anything else in this to give it more of a kick. No, it is. Uh, no, it, I mean it. It's good, but it's not. It's For, not something that I can see myself going and and recommending to other people. No. Like you have to try this buffalo. Fresh sweat. beer equals best beer. That's a very generic statement. Honestly, three, two and a half. Nah. Two and a half, but I, I would buy a six pack of it for a variety at a party. I guess. In yeah. other words, in other words, I would hand this to motherfuckers. <laughs> you're not missing any. You're not missing anything by drinking or not drinking this beer. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers and stuff.